Hello, brave readers. Welcome to our reading circle. If I asked you, what are some things that you should never, ever do before bedtime? What crosses your mind? Well, today we're going to read a story with some very interesting ideas. Never ask a dinosaur to dinner. Written by Gareth Edwards and Guy Parker Rees. Read and adapted by Miss Coralie. Never ask a dinosaur to dinner. Really, never ask a dinosaur to dinner. Because a T Rex is ferocious and his manners are atrocious. And you'll find that if he's able, he will eat the kitchen table. He'll grow fatter while the rest of you grow thinner. So never ask a dinosaur to dinner. Please don't share your toothbrush with a shark. Really, please don't share your toothbrush with a shark. They've got so many rows of teeth on the top and underneath, and any self respecting shark will want each little tooth to sparkle. If you rush him, he may make a rude remark. So please don't share your toothbrush with a shark. Never let a beaver in the sink. Really, never let a beaver in the sink. He'll block it up with sticks and mud, and turn the taps on till they flood, and build a great big beaver dam and fill the whole thing up with salmon. And the water won't be very good to drink, so never let a beaver in the sink. Please don't use a tiger as a towel. Really, please don't use a tiger as a towel, because in case you have forgotten, tigers are not made of cotton, and although they're furred quite thickly, they can get mad very quickly. And you'll find that they have a rather scary growl. So please don't use a tiger as a towel. Never choose a bison for a blanket. Really, never choose a bison for a blanket. Because although it's warm and woolly, you will find it is a bully. And its hooves will be too clumpy, and its horns will make you grumpy. And by morning time, you will not want to thank it. So never choose a bison for a blanket. This boy doesn't look comfortable sharing a bed with the bison. What's wrong? Please don't let a barn owl in your bed. Really, please don't let a barn owl in your bed. Because the first thing that you'll learn will be a barn owl is nocturnal. She will hunt for mice and hoot all night, and leave your bed a dreadful sight. You'll wish that owl was in a barn instead. So please. Don't let a barn owl in your bed. Now here's how you can have a lovely sleep. Really, here's how you can have a lovely sleep. Say no to beaver, shark, and owl. Avoid the tiger and his growl. Steer clear of every dinosaur. Leave bison at the bedroom door. These animals won't help you rest. At bedtime, 
Here is what is best. Stick to one teddy and a flock of sheep. And that's how you can have a lovely sleep. Through lots of trial and error, the boy has discovered what best helps him to sleep at night. What do you do before and during bedtime to help yourself have a lovely sleep? Let's take a moment to think about it, then pair up with someone close to you and share your thoughts. Thank you for hanging out with us today, and we'll catch you later at our next reading circle. Have a good one! Bye! Thank you.